We're given a tree diagram with respective individual probabilities of events A, A complement, and then given A, B complement, B, B complement, B, and A complement respectively. And we're asked to find the conditional probability given B complement, what is the probability of A? So once again, what this reads is given B complement, what is the probability of A? Okay? So notice you can't really answer this question by first thinking, well, where's the B complement? I don't see the B complement. How can I get to A if, that, if I don't see B complement in the first place when I'm starting at the starting point? So this is where the famous Bayes formula comes into play. And this is a pretty lengthy formula, but it's pretty straightforward. So the way to find A given B complement, you're going to have a fraction. And on top, basically the way to remember this base is that you're going to switch these two. Okay? So you're going to switch these two. You're going to write B complement given A. But don't forget that you're going to also uh, multiply it by the probability of A. So the probability of the given there. You're going to multiply it separately. Okay? So that's one possibility. So basically what this allows you to do is to, it allows you to use the tree directly, right? Because... It says now, B, what is the probability of B complement given A? And you know now you can go to A first, and then you can go to B complement using the tree. right? So this is a very nice formula that allows you to actually use the tree. Now on the bottom, this is the numerator, the denominator has two possibilities. Because notice that when you get to B complement from A, that's not the only way of getting to B complement in this uh, uh, numerator. Notice that you can also get to B complement using the route of A complement, right? So you can't there, you can go to B complement not only from A, but also from A complement, right? So you have to take note of that in the denominator. So the denominator will consist of two possibilities. The top possibility, which you can copy down, okay? And also the second possibility, which is the second path of getting to B complement, right? From the A complement, right? So this one takes care of the, uh, the first possibility, the first path, first going to A and then B complement. But the second one will take the A complement path and then respectively get to B complement from there, right? So the probability of B complement given A complement now, right? The second path times the probability of a complement okay so now it's going to be very easy once you uh, master this formula once you understand how to use it once you feel comfortable with including everything correctly and not misplacing a complements and b complements etc etc if you do this correctly once again the first thing to notice is that you're going to switch these two around in the numerator in the first um, expression of that product and make sure that your product also consists of the probability of the uh, conditional in this case the conditional was the a and the same thing going to be in the denominator make sure that your a complement conditional is followed by separate probability of that conditional a complement so once you do this correctly you should just substitute in the numbers you will not have any trouble after that all it takes is just you know proper computation and then you'll be fine so what is the probability of B complement given A? So once you got to A, you take this first path like we talked about, then you want to get to B complement. And that's going to be easy, right? Because given that you're already at A, what is the probability of going to B complement? It's just 0 0.6, right? So this guy is equal to 0 0.6. All right? And the probability of A, that's easy, right? Because probability of A is just, um, you know, the probability of this... Uh, this uh, first track, right, which is uh, the, the first, um, you know, distance from the starting point to A, which is 0 0.9. And of course, it's easy. You're going to copy down the first term. So that's 0 0.6, the first product, basically 0 0.9 plus. Now this product is going to be different. So the probability of B complement given A complement. So you go to A complement first. What is the probability once you're here to get to B complement? It's just this distance right this this branch here which is going to be 0 0.2 and of course the probability of the a complement is from the starting point this first distance that you cover to get to a complement which is 0 0.1 all right 
So if you do this correctly, this should give you 0 0.54 divided by 0 0.54 plus, and this is going to be 0 0.02. So you're essentially looking at 0 0.54 divided by 0 0.56. So you already know, you can already tell that this is going to be really close to 1, right? So it makes sense that it's going to be 0 0.96. But if you want to get the precise answer, you should get something like this. 0 0.96, 428, 5714. And of course, that rounds to about 0 0.96. All right, so this would be the correct answer. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.